Girl with Cherise. Hey guys, coming to y'all with an awesome mukbang today. Today we are having some zucchini tuna melts. Y'all, I made this homemade. I I have used zucchini before, my husband told me, but this was totally new to me. Okay. Uh this is how it looks up close. How do y'all like that? It is tuna, parmesan cheese, zucchini, celery, garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, all that kind of good old stuff. But it's delicious looking and I'm going to show y'all up close. This is a zucchini, if you have never seen one. <laughs> y'all, so that's it. Let's eat, y'all. Okay? And today we're going to do a little small story time. I'm going to tell y'all from my point of view. I was supposed to let Kayla come do a video with me, but we never did the video. So she could tell her perspective, but I'm going to tell them from my perspective. When Michaela got into her first fight, I think it was like a couple weeks ago. I'm going to tell y'all all about it, okay? Let's get this mukbang started. First, let's give God some glory, okay? Dear Lord, in my name of Jesus, cover this fruit with your blood, Lord. May I bring nourishment to my body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. So I got this and this. I don't even know how I'm going at it. I got some sriracha on top, some extra lemons. I don't know. Or is it like a pizza or oh, what? I don't know. I might could I might could do some hand and stuff. See? Yes. How they look, y'all? Whew. First bite. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. 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 I got a little sriracha left. Put some extra. Oh my god. I'm shocking myself. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm drinking some H2O, but I put it in my sparkle glass with some lemons. I got my straw. Thank you, Marsha. Um, I always drink your water. Why? Because it's good for you. Mmm. I love lemon water. And it's room temperature, y'all. I didn't uh, put in the refrigerator. Mmm. 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 That's good. Mmm. Let me say. Mmm. 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 Y'all, I had got this recipe from, uh, an app on, uh, my iPhone, I can see I'm going to need some more of this. Because it's good. Okay. Alright, y'all, let's start this story. <laughs> okay. Well, about a couple weeks ago, Michaela had came home and she was telling me that uh, she had, uh, oh, let me back up a little bit more. Michaela had called me from school one day and she went to the bathroom she was crying. This little guy had started picking with her. Out the blue, she wasn't. She say he uh must be a bully, and he was like in her face, like trying to talk about her and stuff. And of course, she, like she said, she didn't want to get in trouble, so she didn't tell him nothing. I say that's good because nowadays these little dudes will fight girls, okay? <laughs> they don't care, you know what I'm saying? They will fight a girl in a hurry, okay? And so I was telling her. Well, what happened? She said he was just talking about her, like trying to be funny. So she started crying, went to the bathroom, and people were laughing, like, you know, kids are bullies, okay? And they're just a bully that was messing with my daughter. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So, when she called me, and she was upset, okay? 
And like most parents, you want to protect your children. So I was like, um, do you want, are you okay? Do you want to come home? Because, you know, she was so upset. And I don't want her to be so upset at school. And she said, yeah, so I saw my daughter to go pick up. Okay. Well, a couple of days after that, or the, maybe the next day, I don't think it was the next day. No, a couple of days after that, uh, Kayla had went back to school. But they had the little girl who was supposed to be her friend. When the boy was like laughing, she don't know her like personally. She know her from school, and the girl was supposed to be her friend, and she was like laughing the whole time the boy had this. So Kayla felt some type of way, as even as an adult, we probably would too. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's bomb. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay. I probably, I know me. And I know me when I was in the world, honey. It was not no joke, okay? I had a bad attitude, though. I probably would have been fighting the boy, okay? I ain't done it before. But anyway, thank God, you know, for Jesus and me changing into a better person. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Well, you know, this is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not exaggerating. This is really good. That tuna with that celery. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Okay. So, Kayla went back to school. And the girl who was laughing, her and Kayla passed some words. At the end of the day. From what my daughter is telling me. The girl had told her came up to them and Kayla was like, I don't know why you're over here because you was laughing and everything when he was talking about me. And the girl was like, what? Now I want to fight you, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You know, probably was cussing each other out. I don't know. Kids lie so much. I'm sure it wasn't that easy. But well, anyway, so it was Friday, y'all. So Kayla was like, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So they must have been fussing. So the girl's like, all right, Monday, I'm going I'm to beat you up. I'm going to fight you. You want to talk crap? And, you know, fussing, fussing. I just say that. And it ended up where the girl was saying she wanted to fight Michaela. Michaela's not no person that be wanting to fight nobody. She's not messy. She don't play around, like, get into trouble like that or none of that. So I knew she wasn't lying. But the girl had must have. So Kayla got on the bus, but the girl must have had put it into her. And I'm going to say fear. But she knew that the girl really wanted to fight her. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, this is delicious. Okay. So, back down. The girl was the one to fight her. The weekend passed. You know what I'm saying? Kayla came home and told me everything. This is what I tell my children. We don't fight no more. And I, and I am a Christian, okay? But, you don't let... Nowadays, so many things happening at these schools with these children who get jumped, get bullied, fall like fighting, fall down, and get, uh, hit their head and pass away, uh, get jumped, get stumped, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people bring knives to school. You never know, you know what I'm saying? Excuse me. People bring guns to school, okay? So this is what I told my children. You don't have to fight, but if somebody come up to you, or come like they gonna fight you, protect yourself. That's all I always tell them. Just protect yourself, you know what I'm saying? I'm not telling them to be bullies, fight nobody, none of that. Protect yourself, okay? Mmm, put them on some rock, yeah? Mmm. I know it's gonna need it. Come on, y'all. Best friend. Best friend. Come back home. Okay, I gotta go to the grocery store because I gotta get some more sriracha. Anyway, so, Kayla, that Friday she went to her cousin's house. I had forgot all about her telling me all about the girl, the situation, and everything. Because, you know, I'm grown. So, it didn't bother me. I don't think Kayla was too much bothered. Well, a weekend passed. She went to her cousin's house. So, when Kayla came back home Sunday, you know, we getting ready for them to go to school Monday uh, and everything. Monday morning, come around. I'm sleeping. Kayla come in the room. And she say, Mama, 
Uh, now this is it. Don't you even catch the bus, okay? Mmm. She's like mama. You know that girl said, mmm. Number two. So I can tell you everything. So you know that girl said she want to fight me. And I said, oh yeah. I said, let me tell you something. She probably didn't forgot about it. And I ain't even worried about you no more. But she was like, no, because she had put on Instagram uh, something crazy. Like, what kids do, I guess. She put on Instagram something crazy, and Michaela's friend Haley saw it. Michaela have a good friend named Haley, okay? And Haley had, because Kayla don't have an Instagram. Mm hmm. That I know about. Okay. Anyway, so. Michaela friend Haley showed her the thing. The girl was still talking noise about she wanted to fight Michaela. I had forgot about it the whole weekend. So she said, Mom, the girl's going to fight me. I said, Well, just if she don't come up to you with, now this is from my point of view. I said, If she don't come up to you with nothing, this 7 o'clock in the morning, don't worry about it. Okay? Just let it go. You know, because the weekend had passed. I said, But if she come up to you talking crazy, like she about to hit you, I say, protect yourself. I say, people nowadays, they don't wait to fight. If she come up to you and she says she want to fight, fight her. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. And, you know what I'm saying? If you don't, sometimes, and this is the truth, y'all. If you stand there and don't say nothing, people will continue to pick with you. People going to know that you're the one they can pick with. So, I told Michaela, you know what I'm saying? Just, basically what I was telling her, if she come up, to you and want to fight you, excuse me, fight her. And that was just it. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. Don't let nobody, you know what I'm saying, make it seem like you're some kind of scary person. This is all because this child ain't never got to fight before. Okay? You know what I'm saying? She's not that type of person. She's sweet, nice. Okay. But the day had to come. You know what I'm saying? When somebody going to either step to you or not, it's just public school. So, anyway, so she left, I said, let's pray. I prayed with my child that, you know what I'm saying, just ask God to just calm the situation, to put peace in the situation, you know, protect my daughter and keep her, because, you know, anything can happen, you know. So, I had talked to him after that. She went, she got on the bus and went to school, okay? Okay. So, I'm up now. So, I called my oldest daughter. I was talking to her about it, and she was saying, well, Ma, you might need to go up there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, in my spirit, I'm like, I'm tussling, because, you know, I am a mother, and I am a, a parent, you know what I'm saying? So if I go up there, I don't want to be clowning, okay? And I end up in CCC, okay? Capital Correction Center. I didn't want none of that. But I knew someone was in me telling me, go, go, go up there. This is about 7.45. But someone was telling me, no. Whatever happened, just be ready for it. So, I was like, about 8 o'clock, I was like, okay. I didn't hear nothing, so I was like, okay, everything must be fine. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. You know what I'm saying? Oh, peace, peace, peace. So I rolled over, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna go back to sleep. I say about huh, 8 45, 9 o'clock. Ring, 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 ring. Phone call. I answer the phone. And it's Michaela talking about, Mama, can you come get me? I just got in a fight. I was like, what? I mean, they hadn't they couldn't been in school more than an hour. So I was like, oh my God. So when she told me that, I was like, my God, my God, Lord, you know what I'm saying? So I say, what happened? She said, oh, nothing. She pulled my weave out, <laughs> of course. And I was like, oh, my God. I said, you ain't hurt, huh? This is my, that's my favorite thing. And I just got to make sure everybody okay. She was like, yeah, I'm fine. She said, uh, we just uh got here. And she came up to me, still talking that. And so I just hauled off, and we started walking down the thing, and we was fussing, and I just hit her. And I was like, oh my God. So I was like, okay. So I sent my daughter to go get her. And the reason I did that, y'all, is because 
I'm the type of person that if I get in my feelings and I go up there, say her parent was there or the child was still there, and then I get to fussing and I get to acting a fool and you know what I'm saying? Cause they will call the police quick. Cause they had to call the police, I'm gonna tell y'all about that. Uh why McKay was there. And I'm the type of person I just do wanna go to jail, okay? Because I was already feeling some type of way. And as a Christian, thank God for Jesus. He really misses me to stay still. Okay? And that's the Lord fight me about. So I'm waiting on her to come home. So when she came home, the girl had then pulled her little, she had a quick weave, pulled her weave, weave off. Kayla had then took her hair, baby, out them braids and let them all know she had a head full of hair, baby. Okay? A uh, big old natural uh, curly hair. And she sure do. So she walked around with her little curly hair coming from here. And she didn't have no scratches or nothing, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, well, what happened? So she started telling me what happened. You know what I'm saying? Just like I just told y'all. Back door. So when they got in the office, the girl was still talking noise and all this stuff. But Lord, let me tell y'all. They had a video. <laughs> of course they had a video. And I was like, let me... I hit the camera. I was like, let me see the video. So I watched the video, y'all. Mm-mm. Mm. And let me tell y'all about this video. I mean, it is what it is. They started fussing. Everybody followed them. Kayla was walking. The girls walking. Kayla hauled off and this is what the video showed. Kayla hauled off and hit her. So Kayla did hit her. Kayla hit her. First, when the girl dropped her book sack, that's when Kayla hit her. Kayla friend, now the girl had her friend with her. Kayla friend, <laughs> Kayla, as her ride or die, I ain't lying. Everybody have to have a ride or die. And when Kayla met this friend, I ain't never met Haley. She a ride or die. She a ride or die friend. She a ride or die chick, okay? I mean, do you got a ride or die chick? I don't know. The girl, when Kayla hit that girl, Haley hauled off and just hit her friend. <laughs> Golf, give me for laughing. But these girls were bullies, y'all. Pick with people, always arguing with people, always doing stuff to people. But it took. You don't go around threatening people, okay? Because you never know what consequences are the person you're going to meet up with. So they get to fighting. Excuse me. And I ain't lying, y'all. When I tell y'all, Michaela, I ain't never gotten a fight. But honey, I don't know if it's defensive moves, but she wow. was <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Haley was they was stomping. It was just crazy, y'all. And I was like, oh my god. Now Michaela had testing like two days later, but she got suspended for uh I think three or four days. Okay. The girl must have got suspended for one. Because the principal called me and she was like, uh, from what they could see on the video, looked like Michaela started the fight. Oh no, Michaela hit first is what they said. And I told her, I said, well, I would have called y'all. I say, but I say, with kids going to school, check this out. What can I call you and say to stop them from fighting? They could have fought in the bathroom. They could have fought anywhere. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, nothing I can do to stop it. And like I told the lady, it did happen. It's on video. I said, now nah, Michaela have to pay for what she chose to do. Okay. The reason I said that, because I knew that she had she was wrong. No matter what, she was wrong. Okay. So back though, she got suspended for a week. I saw the video. So Kayla had to go back to school Wednesday for some testing. Just like a day or two after the fight. So she, Kayla, baby please, Kayla went up there to the school. You never know what kids thinking like retaliation. Kayla went up there to the school, baby. When she was supposed to, she only went to go get testing. And she had to come back, she had to leave because she was suspended. But they allowed her to go do her testing. Kayla went to school, the girl was in the bathroom, her and her friend. Kayla said she went to the bathroom, used the bathroom, came out. Okay, the girls came in. They did not tell her a thing, nothing. And Kayla said she wasn't even worried about it. Them two together, Kayla Bossa, did not tell her a thing. 
Because let me tell you this. A bully is a lot of mouth most of the time. Okay? And if they not, if you really just do what you gotta do to protect yourself, they will leave you alone. Okay? Grown or teenager or child. It don't matter. They come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and uh, everything. So I was so glad. And do it all came to back to school. Everything was fine. Nothing was said. Now ain't nobody, the girl ain't messing with her no more. The boy ain't messing with her no more. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. Now, yeah, she was wrong with fighting, and I ain't gonna lie, because I don't condone it. But, I'm just glad she didn't get hurt and do all of that. I won't try to hear it from her point of view, but it was so funny, because I was, just like any other mom, I was like, you handled your business, you know what I'm saying? Was I wrong? Maybe. But I'm gonna tell you like this. I told her right. And I did probably tell a little wrong, but you know, okay? Just want to tell y'all that little story time. I'm going to leave it there. Because y'all know my other story time I got with my daughter went to the restaurant. And uh, I wasn't supposed to get down. I got down and I got back in a clown seat. That's why I didn't go to the school. Y'all go watch that story time. Okay, but anyway, y'all, I'm done with this. This was some good old tuna. Zucchini. 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 Zucchini tuna melt. I love y'all so much. Y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all new. Time to go with Cherise. Changes, changes, changes going on over here. Also... Uh, y'all follow me on social media. Love y'all so much. Always remember to dab on your haters and sparkle on them. Bye, y'all.